I want to wish you all a merry, merry Christmas. Usually, um, this time of the year is one of those sad moments of uh, everyone's life, really. Uh, shopping and all that crap. But anyway, I really want to say one thing about this wonderful restaurant here in West Hollywood. It's called the Silver Spoon Restaurant. The Silver Spoon is one of the actors' favorite restaurants, like Shelley Winters, Quentin Carantino, uh, so many stars love that restaurant. Uh, it's reopening uh, the 26th of December. Isn't that wonderful? Finally. It's been closed for several months. Had a terrible fire, but I'm glad they're opening again. Yeah. Day after Christmas. Mm. Do I hear singing? What? Do I hear someone singing? You want to hear singing? Mm -hmm. right, who's singing? You? I'll sing for you. Yeah. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm weak, maybe I'm strong, but nevertheless, I'm in love with you. <laughs> Michael Parks, yes. my God. I, last Wait. time I heard your album, but hey, I saw a great movie of yours just uh, about five days ago called The Listening yeah. at the Lindley Theater. Yeah. And boy, what a film. Your son is in that. You have James. Yeah. James Park Michael is in it. That's your son. He is, he, if you looked, you wouldn't know. Why, why wouldn't you know? No, he, didn't. he resembles uh, his mother. Yeah. True, true, true. It's thin, thin, true. I have but, these but what a quarter horse jaws. I have, I have these quarter horse <laughs> jaws that you recognize immediately. <laughs> Corona, California, Michael. Grew uh, up. Uh, California yeah, grew yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how did you get into the uh, films anyway, first of all? How did Michael Parks studied acting here in California, went to New York or what? New York, I think, right? I had a pretty butt. Ah, the Bible. That was it. John Houston. That's right. No, well, Bible. before that, I, I did some. You did another one before the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with a butt? Why are you being so cruel? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> What do you mean, with your butt showing again? No, it's awful. I mean, ah. it must be disgusting. <laughs> but, I mean, should it be my proboscis, you wouldn't <laughs> mention it again. <laughs> but my favorite film um, is of you with um, Anne Margaret. A very light comedy, but fun, fun film. Well, Gus Riley, yeah, back. It, it was all right, but... William Minge wrote the uh, screenplay. Right. And when they started to destroy it, he took his name off of it. Did he really? Yeah. Uh -huh. When they released it, he took his name off. And not long after that, committed suicide. Hmm. I'm very sorry for Bill. Now, everybody's thing. been doing John F. Kennedy. Uh, Robert Kennedy, they're doing. You did it the first. I think you were about the first one ever did the private lives of... Um, Hoover is it? Yeah. Jag private lives of Jagger Hoover. Yeah, tell well, me. It was all right. I mean I I, I knew uh, Bobby and You did? Yeah. What kind of guy was he? No, uh, Attorney General. I knew Attorney General. Uh -huh. And he did more um, investigations into uh, private conversations than Hoover did in forty years. Uh -huh. He did <laughs> he did <an> eight. <laughs> but the liberals won't, you know. I mean, this is Don't you hate that word, the liberals? Well, it's... Come yeah, on. Here we are. <laughs> I mean, we're in a war. Ah, and but the liberals didn't put us into war. You know, you have to understand. Well, that. Johnson and Kennedy did. Uh, Nixon didn't. Carter didn't. And, uh, you know, when you think of... You know why we're here, Skippy? Okay, I know is, why. Is to promote this film. I know it, but right. I want my audience to remember who that wonderful Michael Parks was, who started on television, then came Bronson on your motorcycle, yeah. the Jimmy Dean of that oh, that's era. Awful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You yeah. were, well, they're trying to push you as Jimmy Dean. No, oh, they would have pushed me as Zazu Pitts if I <laughs> looked like her. <laughs> <laughs> and the young lions, uh, young lawyers. But that was a great series. The Young Lawyers. 
Was uh -huh. Michael, yeah. the movie. I just yeah. love the listening. You did? It is kind of a movie. What is it about to actually take the technical? It, uh, uh, it's an earnest attempt to uh, be serious about contemporary problems of spying and all that nonsense. Right. Um, Electronico. Go ahead. You can't... I mean, every, everybody wants privacy. Right. And I don't blame them. But it's a two-edged sword. You say, well, I want my privacy, but in the meantime, you'll go on Jerry Springer or Oprah Winfrey and tell them all of the terrible, dark secrets of your life. And yet, if somebody wants to spy from the government saying, are you Al-Qaeda? Right. You're saying, oh, I don't know. I mean, I was talking to my Aunt Margaret, and I had trouble defecating. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it means nothing, right, Skippy. Right, right. Privacy, you know, there are many. Do you actually think the President of the United States today gave our solace down the river? Don't you think so, Michael? No. With our privacy? No, I think they both do. I mean, you, you take the, the Republicans, and they say, well, we should invade Iraq, and blah, blah, blah. You say, oh, no, no. Now, the Democrats say we should be uh, in the Congo and, you know, uh, the Ser and Serbia. Right. Well, what the f what's right. the difference? I mean, it's all the same. You're buying the same old uh, program, mm -hmm. same old the program. The Democrats and the Republicans. Well, yeah, yeah, they all are, because they have their persuasion of, uh, you yeah. If you live in an environment in your life, it impresses you. You take that environment and you cling to it so that your knowledge as a Christian or a Buddha or a Hindu or uh -huh. whatever, Brahman or whatever, relies upon itself. That's all it is. No, no, that's Skippy. Yeah, right. That's all it is. You know, you know the story about the... The story? You know the story. I love No, the, wait a minute. You know the story about the cowboys, like, in 1910, and <coughs> he's 18 years old, working on the ranch all his life, cowboy. Comes into town, has a few drinks, and he goes across the street, and he breaks down the mercantile store of this old Jewish cat, you know, uh -huh. and then... And he starts beating, he just starts pounding. And the Jewish guy says, why? Why are you hitting me? Why are you killing me? And the cowboy says, hey, she goes, you killed Christ. And, <laughs> and the Jewish guy says, but that was 2,000 years ago. He said, well, I just heard about it last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the killer. I mean, that is the killer. Micah, the film is filmed in Europe. Yeah. It's yeah. all entire European. Yeah. It's in Italy, yeah. taken in Italy. Yeah. Well, and it it's fantastic. In Rome, and beautiful. Rome. Elba, beautiful. Comier, which is the. Uh, but tell me more about that Italian, technology of the film. Italian French. Tell me about the technology of that film. It's so, it's hey, like you know, did digital. You, did you ever ask a, a, a monkey <laughs> to discuss uh, nuclear physics? No, well, I never spoke to a monkey. But Daniel. I want to talk to you first of no, all. No, no, about well, the technology. Damn. Okay, Dan. Oh, damn. Hi, Dan. <laughs> I forgot about Dan. Get, Come on in, Dan. Put that oh, on you. Dan is uh, the distributor and involved in the movie. He is putting this movie out. Hello, Dan. Dan Ar Armas. Armas. You're from New York, are you? Uh, I grew up in Florida. Uh -huh. And I went to school in New York at the yes. Actor Studio. At the actor, so, so you're an actor, really, basically. Originally. Originally, and became uh, what? Distributor. <laughs> distributor. Very difficult to get a good distributor. Now you yeah. just what you distributed. Um, it's a. T tell me the movie about the disc technically. Well, here's what happened. I was in China, in Shanghai. Right. And I was in a hotel lobby and two Italian gentlemen came and asked if they could sit next to me. Right. Over a period of two hours we discovered that we were both in the film business, mm -hmm. all of us. And I went up to their hotel room and I watched three minutes of the movie and I said I wanted to buy it. Mm. I was so impressed with the opening of the movie with Michael, uh -huh. the look he had, and I just said if the rest of the movie is like this, I will buy. I will buy. Who did the film? Uh, a gentleman by the name of Jaco Martelli 
Dalian. Yeah, okay. yeah. He directed it, and he was also Giacomo, one of the producers. Giacomo. 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 Jack. 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 Okay. No, Michael. Mm. I said go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. So I bought the movie uh, outright, so right. we own it outright, and I brought it to the States, and we basically have spent the last five weeks Re, um, you know, recolorizing it, putting it up to U.S. standards for U.S. theaters. Right, right, right. And uh, what an eye-opening experience where we discovered Michael's performance in and it. And his son is in it. Oh, his son his is son absolutely is brilliant. James Parks. Yes. He's an <laughs> evil, evil <Ooh>. bitch. <laughs> what a discovery. He just relishes the role. He just inhabits every... And he's every... not that way in person. No, he's, he's completely sweet, different. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> he's the sweetest wow, guy. My audience is can we show a clip of this? Yes, yes, yes. I would love to see my audience to see. It's at the Lindley Theater now. Yes. In the it's Sunset Five. Sunset Five. And the also Lindley. the Encino. And then we're having three screenings here in L.A. and three in New York. Right. Uh, starting uh, December 27th for the Academy members and the press. Michael is going to win. If you go out there, There's listen to me, Dan. You got to go out there and spend some money. You're a distributor. We have, you we got have to been, spend money in we, order to promote Michael we, Parks. We've spent over a million just editing the movie and 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 colorizing it, great. it. Isn't it? We 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 turned it into a 2K digital projection. Right. And it just you saw the movie. It yes, just comes great. off the screen. Dream Girls is out now, and that is a digital. So their di digitals are coming. In, yeah, they're right? coming. Yes. How yes. is Dream Girls? First of all, uh, it's a it. beautiful movie. I and love yours it. Yours is beautiful too. Yeah. So I want my audience to see this. Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, let's see the listening with Michael Parks. Okay. Hide the kid, Vaughn. Be cool. Hey, cool. Cool. The friends of hers. She's not feeling well. It might be wise to cut the fat neck about now. What are the police doing? I called them. I thought this link was secure. I used tumbleweed. You did what? I'm asking you for a signed agreement as to the safety of this girl. Oh, Mr. Wagley. During which I would feel compelled to expose your right. system, which you must understand would make it unsellable. Good luck. You're never going near my system again, Mr. Wagley. Why can't you relax? It's not like we want to kill anyone. They had a lobotomy kit in there. Chemical lobotomy, you will agree, is non-lethal. This is a citizen, an allied citizen, a civilian. A spy. Yes, industrial espionage does carry five to ten. You're away your depth here, mister. Please, Mr. Wagley, this is national security. Na We're in national security. You are a company. And we must protect our sales and ourselves yeah, and you from girl, litigation. This girl is no threat. Yeah, well, we're just going to have to agree to disagree on that one. Now, while I appreciate Mr. Wagley's zeal, he seems to be having some allegiance issues. Jim's allegiance is not in question. Whatever. The point is, it'd be really nice if he stopped popping up all the time. I'm going to report you. Are you hearing me, Phil? Or do I need to say it on the phone so you can snoop it? Mr. Ash. His clearance. Gone. Now. John, call security. Even assuming that she was acting alone, we need to know what that girl did and why what we do not need is a lawsuit. And we especially do not need this guy commandeering our prototype and making silly threats. Okay, Phil, because if the girl blows the system, I mean, even if she does so by accident, you aren't going to buy it, are you? And then that guy over there, he's going to have to call my bosses. And then guess what? Those are my guys in Rome. I handpicked them. So if the sale is a no-go, whose paycheck do you think is going to get squeezed? Now, I wasn't planning on selling any kidneys, Phil. And I don't think anybody would want to buy one of yours. So, I am asking you to give me his clearance. Now. Jim. 
Give me your key card, please. This is not who we are. It is today. It is today. You. Get it. They're out the that door. Is, that is acting. Mm-hmm. See, it, matter of fact, uh, I hate to say this, Michael, but he's got to spend money for you to, in order to get the Academy <laughs> Award. That is what he's got to do. You've got to dig in that pocket. You know pocket. what a producer is? What? What is Just it? Just a guy. He, he comes with a roll of toilet paper with defecation on it. <laughs> and with a stick, he's carved in Clint. You know, and um, he goes to the bank and thinks, goes, what, what, oh my God, what, what is it, collateral? I said, yeah, <laughs> put it in a box, <laughs> seam it up so it didn't smell <laughs> any of it. It looked at the fine print, he goes, oh, well, uh, Clint Eastwood in scare tactics. <laughs> he goes, okay, we'll, we'll take it, we'll take it. And that's, that's, that's really the, the, the full aspect of a producer. No. I, you know, and it, 35 million, the guy says, what collateral? <laughs> you know, so look at the small print, Clint. Uh-huh. Clint you know, okay, we get, we, here it is. So it makes no difference. Michael Who Parks. You are, what the story is. Yes. Nothing makes no difference. I know. What it is. It's all that inner showbiz I know. thing. Big agents and, and uh, the fair haired ones that don't ever succeed, but. <laughs> work with enough producers to do 40 films. Mm-hmm. Now, if you come up with a story that's a good story, it doesn't make any difference, you know. Yeah. It has no difference. It's like, is he in it? Who? <laughs> uh, Z Hilton. Oh, her. Well, maybe. Does she have the tits? Not yet, but the operations. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Parks, yes. let me talk yeah, to you. Yeah. You know, you've been so busy doing a lot of films, traveling all over the world. Yeah. Tell me about this director in this film, The Listening. Who is it? John Moore, Did, sweet guy. And sweet working, guy. working, oh. Michael, look at me, yeah. working with your son, James Parks, working with this wonderful young man I've known since he was a kid. Yeah. Good actor. Yes. Yeah. How was it? How how did you feel? Well, I didn't feel you anything. Show? You know, he looks more like his mother. He has an aesthetic look. So I don't think of him. I don't look at him and say, Jesus, you know, it's a chip did off. Did you the, help him a lot? It's, a chip, off, it's a chip off the old chip. Did you advise? And, any oh, of course not. He would see? tell me that I was just uh, absolutely horrendously vacuous you did, you and didn't vain. Get him on the side. No, he's an <laughs> actor. He, he's in theater. And he's he's very good. He has his own choices and. Waiting. Working at the actor's studio years ago, Michael, studying there. Uh, I never did. No, you're yeah. like Monty Cliff. He never did it. No, but he hanged I, around there well, like you guys. No, I didn't. I, I went to one. Strasburg was doing a, you know, and Gabe Dell was right, a very funny right. guy. Asked me to come in there. So to audit, and I did because uh, Lee offered me a lifetime membership, and wow. I didn't take it because I didn't study and blah blah blah. Right. But the actors did audit. I mean. That's like the guy in line and it's cold and it's raining, it's just <laughs> cold and raining, and he's, and he's, and he can't, and he wets himself and feels warm. How do you feel? That's the actor studio. Yeah, I know. How do you, Michael Parks, feel? Nobody about else does, but he feels warm. What? Michael Parks, how yeah. do you feel about the listening? It's a great, one of your best acting roles I, I think nah. you're not saying it come on Michael I saw the film I think it's a great movie technically it's the coloring the the way it's done Dan mm-hmm. what would you call that the way it's not just digital but it's what what is it well from a technical standpoint because I'm not used to it go ahead yeah from a technical standpoint what we did was just trim the film so that the story has a through line um, and it, uh, the, the digital medium, actors in the future are going to have to be real actors because it's an unforgiving medium. You saw the film. You saw how you it zooms act. in. That's right. That's, you, that's right. No more computer bull crap. Nope. You, this is true acting. Yeah, you can't that, cheat with editing. You can't cheat any other way. And you've got a girl there from Italy. 
Maya Sansa. Who is she? She is a wonderful actress. Beautiful. Michael worked with, yes. Michael, tell me about her. Lovely girl. Well, you know, I've been, I'm married, but I kept my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But as far as the others, I was sad that just when I'm beginning to learn my craft, I'm getting too old to practice it. No. No, no, no. no. You're no. working a lot. Quentin Tarantino, you just did, you did how many movies for him? Uh, that's, that's, Quentin. that's a response to bravado. Okay. That's uh, saying I deserve the Academy Award. I did this and I did that and think it's about time and all that. Okay. You mean you heard all that horse shit? Yes, you, yes, yes, me? Michael. Well, but, Michael, but this is an Academy Award uh, yeah. performance, so. Yeah. Oh. Am I right, Dan? Yeah, this is a contender. Yeah. It's I mean, brilliant. what he does in this, in these moments, look at that clip you just saw. It's brilliant. Moments. Look yeah. at that. He just strings them together. Yeah, what I love about the actor, and he's, he's, he's walking down the street, and the guy says, Hey, I love you. I'm a, I'm a producer. I'll do a play. Would you like to play? He says, Oh, I'd love to do a play. So, oh, really? Yeah. What did you do? He says, I don't know. He says, Henry Third? He says, Yeah, that's fine. Henry Ford? Oh, that's okay. Henry Third? Uh, Richard Third? Yeah, oh, that's good. Okay. And then, so he's walking and he can't believe it. Yeah. Runs to an actor friend of his, and he says, This guy just ran. Yeah, I, I don't know. He said, I'm Richard Third. I'm really starting two weeks with him. And he said, Look, I said, Broadway. He said, Really? He said, Yeah, well, cool. I said, Let me know. He said, Okay. So the play opens, and, uh, you know, the guy goes out and looks out through the curtain. There's nine people. people. <laughs> yeah, nine. So he says, Oh, God. Jeez. Oh, my God. So he closes, of course, you know, the next two or three days later, the boy runs into the actor. And the actor says, How's that, how's that play going? How's, how's Richard Third? He said, Uh, <laughs> open clothes. He said, really? Yeah, I said, first night, open clothes. He said, what, what, what was it? Was it uh, poor attendance, maybe? He said, no. He said, but how many were there? He said, 11. <laughs> <laughs> but the attendance of this listening is getting yeah. better and better. Yes, yes. People are getting to know. Why are you keeping it so covered quietly? Um, because we're he's building, not spending we're, we're, LGM. Yeah, you know, no, no. What right. we're doing is we're building the momentum. We're going to release it in late May. Isn't that kind of late for the Academy to, for him to be a nominated for uh, sure. an Oscar? Well, we got the film six weeks ago. Okay. Oh, you just got it. Yeah, so, we just got Michael, it. You didn't say that. Okay. Yeah, we just. Uh, You're well, fine. They six they weeks. they sent us the the equi the the. The digital, uh, the the prints and stuff, and they so were bad. So you did this in six weeks. No, we did it in five days. What you're seeing up on the screen, right? We had five days to edit, to get colorize it, and put it up on the screen. Wow, wow, wow! We got Lumley's Theater November twenty eighth, right? For a December fifteenth release, mm -hmm. and that was just to meet the Academy requirements. That's it. That's what yeah. you did it for. Huh? Otherwise, we would have held off till May I and see. built the momentum. But now we're starting the momentum. We'll have uh, we'll have screenings for the industry here and in New York I like in the next the, couple of weeks. I like weeks. the title, The Listening. Well, I didn't give that title. No, I, I was the director. You didn't, but that is an interesting title. Uh, Michael, how many, uh, what other characters are in this? Your son is an evil man in this picture. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's but, but, look at it. Yeah. No, he's a wonderful, he reminds me of... Oh, that guy was with Natalie Wood, and that guy, who was he? With Natalie, and her husband drowned. I mean, she drowned, Natalie drowned. What, what was that? Dancer? No, who? Just walking? Cl yeah, good that's yeah, right. Cl dancer. That's who it is. Good dancer. Christopher Walken. Good dancer. Christopher yes. Walken. Good dancer. Does he yeah. good actor. Oh, good Every dancer. Young kid. Good dancer. Christopher Walken? Yeah. Good dancer. Yes, and your son is too, Michael. He is rich. Who did he study with here in Hollywood? We are all sons. <laughs> we have not yet counted. Okay, Michael. Subtract them into nakedness and night. Tell and me. You, and tell you me. will see. Begin in Crete 4,000 years ago. The love that ended yesterday in Texas. <laughs> We suffer the slurs of a George Slattern because a London cut purse went unhung. Michael is a dramatic, he poet, he sings, and he's an absolute actor studio 
comes out. What do you think about him? Well, they working with him. Oh, I'm just getting to know him. Is this the uh, oh, first time you met Michael? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, I've seen his work, work over the years. Um, uh, what I enjoy about him is he embodies everything that the studio teaches about subtlety in work mm -hmm. and generosity towards other actors mm -hmm. that you are with in a scene. Um, I think that scene Spencer that you put Tracy up, did the same, same thing. thing. Spencer, the listening is called the listening. Michael listens. And, and reacts. Reacts. Mm -hmm. And that's what Spencer Tracy was, a great listener. Yeah. And to be a good actor, I wish I could listen. To be a good talk show host, mm -hmm. <laughs> I interrupt. But, you know, that's Jimmy D. Glick. You know what I mean? I can't help that. <laughs> but, but Michael Parks, the listening is such a good role for you. I haven't seen you doing... Well, uh, that's all right. It was all right. Why do you say it's all right? It, it's going well, to—it's going you know, to be an Academy add, Award. You add, you add things to. It. No. Okay. Oh my God. You don't <laughs> like that, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. Why so, doesn't? Why, Michael? Well, it's silly. I mean, my God, you know, it becomes. It's not silly. You have that is your work, and you've got to get honors for it. No. Like I just got. Look, Michael. I just got voted for it, ladies and gentlemen. I just got voted for the public access. Look, the best. Little sh live show. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Look at that. I'm going to show it off, and I just got a nominated, right? Good. That's oh, great. Isn't that nice? That was so nice of um, the West Hollywood to nominate me for the local series. That was great. You've got to appreciate to get a nomination, too, Michael. Why? You don't, you're like Marilyn and Brando, don't want to accept the awards. No, is that, no, no, you know, Skippy, I think if you look at all of the advertisements in this time of the year where you're trying to promote your film, right? They say there's not a film that doesn't say best supporting for all the supporting roles, best acting for all the acting roles. Right. I mean, all that's missing is best grip. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, electrician. Whatever. I mean, that's all that's missing. It's absolutely silly. There are some years, I believe, that you should bypass. You should say, well, listen, hey, folks, there's nothing really good enough to nominate this. You really, yeah. I mean, it is Peter O'Toole in the ruling class, and that's oh, isn't he oh, great? Oh, it. Oh, Peter yes. O'Toole, but that's it. Yeah. Well, I agree. Fuck the, pardon me, That's okay, Margaret, Michael. That's but okay. fuck the rest. Yes. You, do, you say, look, he's the only one. There's one supporting role, and that's it. Isn't that nine? Peter O'Toole's got a movie out now, Venus. Is mm -hmm. it? I want to see it. Yes. Brilliant. He looks. Did you see, see it? I yes, I did. Oh. I just saw it. Michael, you de he looks like an old, old man. Well, he and is. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't he just matter. he doesn't worry about his scars and yeah. his face. Yeah, but he is. He is no, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And his voice. You hear him? He sounds young. Yeah. Young. The witch that came, the withered hag, Have you, to wash the step with pale and rag, was once the beauty Abishag, the picture pride of Hollywood. <laughs> Too many fall from great and good for you, doth the likelihood. <laughs> Some have relied on what they knew, others are being simply true, what worked for them might work for you. No memories of having starred atones for later disregard, or keeps the end from being hard. If need be, occupy a throne. But no one else can call you chrome. Better to go down dignified with Boston friendship at your side and none at all. Provide! Provide! Michael. Yeah? The I listening, like I love it. I think oh, you're brilliant. You. The listening right. is at the Lindley Theater and we all got to Come out and see it, folks. We love you dearly and please do come out because we need the money. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Michael.